Good morning. I am now on the Isle of Arran. Um, as you will know if you've been keeping up with these videos. Um, the weather outside is pretty miserable at the moment. Um, so I'm going to slowly get myself up. And I think I'm going to go for just go for a walk up the coast um, today. I'm staying by the coast anyway and there's a coastal path. And there's some really, um, at least one really interesting thing up there that I want to see. Um, so I think I'll do that. Um, and then we'll see how we get on from there. Right, so I finally um, ventured out, just have a little look around where I'm camped. Um, I'm going to go out properly shortly. And I've just realised that right next to where I am is this, which is a very broken and not particularly exciting uh, Bronze Age uh, burial can by the looks of it. Um, I'll turn the camera around and you can see there's a sort of standing stone. Yeah, some other kind of moss covered stones here and if you go up on the top you can actually see um, sort of some cover stones here as well so this would have been a chambered cairn um, but obviously it's never been excavated or restored cool. so I'm doing it I'm going for my walk um, I actually even recorded a little video saying that I wasn't going to bother because it's too horrible but then I came outside and thought you know what I used to do this and I had to like make notes in a book and look at rocks and measure things I can go for a walk so I'm doing it um, I'm on a hunt um, for something special and if I find it I'll show it to you I left Yorkshire to get away from Millstone Grit and to see some different geology and look what I found, a millstone. I'm not sure what it's made of, I'll check the geological map in a minute. So just ahead of me, just saw there, um, a little outcrop, outcrop promontory for fallen rocks, which means I'm nearly back at the van. I'm still very wet, the wind has dropped slightly, it's still raining, um, it's kind of given up on my feet being anything like dry. Um, I'm loving it, I've been kind of trying to figure out most of the way back out I'm going to dry my clothes in my tiny van, but this is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. What's the point if the weather's going to be nice and if you're going to be nice and dry and you can go back to a hotel and all that, I mean, well part of me thinks that would be lovely but you know this is the adventure isn't it this is why we do it oh, I made it back um, there are clothes drying everywhere in here and um, I don't quite know how we're gonna do it but hey just had a shower um, which was lovely warm shower outside yay yes and um, so I'm gonna have um, a cup of tea now and 
go for a drive, I think, just to try and get some air and heat through this fan. Um, oh, what a day so far, amazing. Hi, um, I got told off by my sister for talking and driving, so I've stopped. Um, as you can see, there's lots of stuff hanging up because of how wet I got. Um, I'm just driving to Blackwater for because apparently there is um, somewhere that might be able to get some water. Um, I've got about an hour or so before it goes dark, but none of the parking places are particularly hard to find. Um, so I hope they'll find somewhere nice for the night. And it's supposed to dry out a bit this evening. Who knows? Um, I've just pulled over because look at this behind me. It's beautiful. Um, I don't know if you saw in the last little bit as well, there was a palm tree um, because Aaron um, is at the top of the Gulf Stream, sort of comes up the Irish Sea, sort of warmer water. Um, so you can get palm trees on the Isle of Arran. There you go. Look at that. Look at it. Um, I've just stopped outside the what is now the Best Western Kinloch Hotel, which was um, I think the Black Waterfoot Hotel, and I stayed here a long time ago doing A Level Geology. Uh, some good times in there, including um, sneaking out one night and moving the minibus to the side of the car park to confuse our teacher in the morning. Um, what's also useful here is um, just behind me, we can't quite see. Hang on. Behind me there is a public toilet with a chemical disposal and a water tap at the back if you need that. And parked right next to me is this lovely camper van. Right, that's the end of another day. Um, I am now dry and my stuff is still quite wet. I've managed to fashion a washing line in the cab. So we'll see what happens with that. Don't know what's going to go on in my boots because they're soaked. Um, I just have to trudge around in damp boots for the rest of the week. Um, but the weather is supposed to be better tomorrow. So I'm, I'm staying just near Macri tonight um, on the west coast of the island. Um, so, because I plan to go to Macri Moor Stone Circles tomorrow, um, which will be, which I'm really excited about because I've wanted to go there for so long. Um, so, hopefully, I can find some exciting things there. Um, but I will go for now. I hope you've enjoyed today's travels. Like and subscribe and all that. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I was really pleased um, to see that um, John Rogers has subscribed to my channel. Um, if you've never watched any of John's videos, they're really, really good um, sort of walks in and around London. Um, really informative. Um, and I've been watching them for years and years. And no doubt they've been an influence on <laughs> what I've been attempting to do with this. Anyway, search for him. And then um, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.